Hi all, welcome to Design Engineers Telugu. In this class, I will explain how to make this object. Okay, so before going to create this object, we need to know that how many operations we require to create this object. Okay, so to create this object, we need four operations. One is this one. Second one is this base. And then this stiffener and then this hollow cylinder these four operations we need to do and then we need some holes fillets and all that is a secondary okay so now we will start from this base okay first of all we need to identify the dimensions of this object okay so first i want to start from this base so here we have 30 in this side and then thickness of the stiffener is 10 and as it is a symmetric object we will get same 30 in another side also so total length is 70 and then this length is 80 okay so first of all i will create one rectangle okay let us start this we will take a sketch and we will select the top plane and now i want to create a base or if you take this rectangle for this i'm adding dimensions and here and i want to make it as symmetric about the center axis symmetry and this length as we discussed it should be 70 and then this length should be 80 okay after this if you observe in this image here we have one circle okay if you observe this portion we have some curvature over here with 35 radius okay so at this end a rectangular end i am creating one circle with 35 radius okay so i am taking a circle from this center exactly i am creating one circle with the 35 radius and then we need one more circle here with the 18 radius and between these two circles we have 60 distance okay so here i am creating one more circle with 18 radius means we can take 36 diameter and here if you observe we have one more circle with uh, 18 dia so here i am taking one more circle the diameter is 18 and then from here to here the distance is 60 and now i have to create this tangent lines so i am taking tangent line i'm selecting these two circles okay now i will trim unwanted lines okay if you double click on this you can use it for multiple times so like this i have removed some unwanted lines okay and next it is not fully constrained right so let us give radius over here okay so like this we have created one object and now we need to check for height and before that see here actually it has to be like this right it should face left side but here if you see it is facing opposite right so for that what i am doing here is i am just changing this sketch support means instead of uh, pause to h it is in negative v right so what we have to do is we need to right click on sketch here we can find sketch support okay change 
sketch support okay just click on this okay about this i will explain later clearly now i just want to change this direction so what i am doing here is i'm just changing position okay so position here we can change this h v directions right so if, if you click on h reverse see it will come like this we are not feeling any difference see here only h is moving if you click on reverse v see it's coming like this but it should face in this positive h right so what we have to do is we need to swipe it okay then again reverse v see now we got sketch as we required okay just click on okay here we have some more options i will discuss about all this later okay just click on okay next here we need to add the material select the object and here how much thickness we need to give here he has given 18 so just 18 and if you want to give to upside you can give like this and just click on ok now i want to create this back support ok so for this I'm taking a sketch selecting this plane here I'm creating one rectangle now we need to find the dimensions for this rectangle so here if you observe total height is 100 and here I'm giving total height as 100 and then I'm just coinciding this line and this horizontal line coincidence next we need to find the width right and then before that I'm just making it symmetric about vertical axis now we need to find the width so here to here it is 18 and from here to here it is 60 and then here to here it is 18 ok so total value is 96 or else you can type like this also 18 plus 60 plus 18 ok you can give direct value or you can give like this also next here we need to add material or directly you can create fillets over here and then you can make a circles also but uh, that is not a proper way okay so this fillets and all we should not add in sketch okay so generally by using edge fillet only we will make that uh, smooth surfaces okay if you want save your time you can add here also but that is not general practice okay so here i'm adding material here in reverse direction 18 distance okay now i need to add edge fillet at here and here and the radius is 18 okay so from here to here it is 18 here to here also it is 18 so I am taking edge blend radius as 18 okay so making it 18 next I need to make holes right this holes I need to create with the 18 diameter so I am just clicking on hole then we need to select this face then click on positioning sketch we need to give dimensions now it should be 18 here here to here also it is 18 exit workbench and the diameter of the hole is 18 depth also I am giving 18 click on ok now we need a same hole this side also right mirror select the hole and select the plane ok ok now I need to create this cylinder ok so this cylinder Auto diameter is 50 
and inner diameter is 28 and total height is 40 okay so where it is exactly from here to here it is maintaining 80 distance right so here i am taking sketch i'm creating on this plane this face and now i will project this curve so that uh, we can easily locate center point for the circuit okay so here i am creating one circle see when it is meet to that center point the color for the projected line will change right so if you observe here it is yellow now now it is orange right so it is a center point just click here the diameter is outer diameter 50 and later you can convert this one into reference one okay just click on this one click on construction line then just click outside and then click on construction line again now we need to take one more circle here from the same center point the diameter is 28 exit from the workbench and now we need to add material for this the height is 40 okay and now we have to create this stiffener okay so for that what I am doing here is I am making a sketch I am taking this plane I am taking this plane now I will project this lines okay so here for cylinder you can't project by using this you will go to the last option and then we need to select the cylinder okay so now we need to remove unwanted lines okay so wherever you find this unwanted lines you need to remove now I have removed those unwanted lines now I will convert this one into a reference line now I will take a curve okay three point curve is there no three point curve is there right so I'm selecting this one three point with the limits just select three points and then give certain radius for this here how much he has given he has given 80 radius okay make it 80 and then or if you want to change it, you can change it okay it's up to you then exit from the workbench click on pad now click on mirror extend here thickness is 5 okay as we are giving mirror extend it will automatically come to 10 okay just click on preview if you observe here here you can see a gap between this cylinder and this rib right so to avoid that what I am doing here is I'm just clicking on sketch now I will convert this one into isolate make it isolate and now you can give dimensions for that okay so what I will do here is I will just select this line and this line here I will give actually we have 55 right I will make it as 57 okay somewhat inside of that cylinder exit workbench now you can't find that gap okay now here we got our object and now here we have to make some fillets and here also in the corners here you need to select these two corners make it 18 Like this, you will get fillets. Now, I will add fillets at here also. Okay, so select edge fillet, select all these edges like this. Then 
wherever we are getting intersection there we are adding fillet actually now we need to change that radius into 3 mm then ok ok if you wanna change further means I wanna make it as 2 mm only yeah like this we can create this object ok so thank you and thank you for watching and if you get any other doubts please ping me on comment section I will reply for that okay so thank you for watching have a nice day bye